You cannot live on an island and not be directly and even spiritually connected to what's surrounding that island, which is our river. The Penobscot River is significant to us because it's given us our life. You know, we, we've been here for 13,000 years and everything we needed for sustenance came from the river. We had gardens, we hunted moose, it was all supplementary to our fish diet. This is the heart of our culture. This is the lifeblood. This is the, the highway that we use to travel and to ensure that our people had enough food. And so the canoe and, and the river with the canoe, they're vital. We have a word for canoe, which is a guidon, that thing which floats. But if somebody steals your canoe, the word changes. And it has the same ending as if somebody died. That's how close our connection to the canoe is. I grew up being around the water and, and canoeing. And canoeing was like walking for us. Like, you just pop it in and go in. And we never looked at it as a, as a sport, per se. It was just as a means of transportation. I started paddling just about 70 years ago when I was five years old. My dad took us out in the canoe and he tipped us over, showed us how to get back in the canoe, get the water out of it, and then just enough so you could get back to shore. And that's always stuck in my head that he taught us at an early age. So I try to do as much as I can for, for the youth here on the island. I got hired to work at the youth program in 94. Neil Phillips, another one of my mentors, like, hey John, they got this uh, North American Indigenous Games thing. It's out in Minneapolis, Minnesota, what do you think? So we called it Team Penobscot. We took a small team of, I think, six or seven out there, and I think they, they won like 17 medals in canoeing. And then from there, we've gone to, I think, four or five Indigenous Games. Plus, we, we, we go to the Nationals, Flatwater and Whitewater Nationals. I like training with the team. I like seeing other team members really progress themselves and become stronger and develop more of a passion for the, the, the sports because it's culturally uh, intertwined, you know, with canoeing and, and us getting out there. It's, we're training, we're getting exercise, and we're also respecting the resource and appreciating it for what it is. I think that my role is to go to, you know, competitions and, and represent our community well. It's fun just going to different places and just paddling. Seeing like new groups of people, winning is always fun. It's important for us to try to get more people into canoeing because it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot more than just what people are used to. We started Canoe Club, starting that next generation. We had, I think about 20 or 30 kids out here last week. So it's the real young ones that are just getting into it. Former and current team Penobscot, team Wabanaki members that are coming in. Now they're teaching the kids, so it's, it's pretty neat. I've been taught by a lot of older paddlers like how to uh, properly canoe and what it means and how important it is to uh, my people and I, I feel like I have the responsibility to pass that on to younger generations to really get them involved. It's very important, very important to see them get out there and, and paddle and carry on a tradition and especially when you've been training them like today just uh, Tell them just a little bit on, on how to do the stroke, how to do the turns and everything, and, and just watch them improve just in 10 minutes. You know, it's, it's a good feeling. I really believe that paddling is in our DNA, that generations upon generations, it's, it's in us. And you can feel that on the river.